Hey, you watching, I'm Austin with Training Tall and welcome back to another rowing workout. We've got a 20 minute workout today that is going to be an excellent, amazing fusion of rowing technique focus intervals that I'm gonna coach you through as well as some high intensity interval sprints as well. We're gonna combine that all together for one super fun workout. It's gonna get you sweaty, it's gonna get you breathing, not only building your cardiovascular fitness, but really, really helping you fine tune your rowing technique. And if you enjoy today's workout, definitely let me know down in the comments. And if you're interested in more workouts like this, more on a daily basis and personal rowing coaching from me, for you, you should sign up for my online Row 20 coaching group. I run a new coaching group every single month where you can get the attention that you need for your specific rowing form. I've also got a visor on indoors today. Why? Because why not? All right, guys and gals, before we get started, make sure that your foot plates are adjusted properly. We want our feet to sit low. The strap should be going across the ball of your foot, not your shoe, the ball of your foot should have about maybe two to three inches of toes showing above the strap. Make sure it's comfortable, but again, sit your feet low. That's gonna help us the best get the full range of motion on our rowing strokes that we're looking for. And we're gonna go ahead and start today's workout out, off, at the finish position. We're gonna work through what's called the pick drill. So we're gonna piece out our rowing form a little bit and build our way up to full strokes. I'll be guiding us along every step of the way. So let's go ahead and start things off here at the finish position of the stroke. We're leaning back, the abs are braced tightly, the handle's right below the chest, elbows out slightly to keep the wrists flat. We're gonna take it just arms only with me in three, two, one. Arms out, pull it in. Arms out, pull in. We're just pulling that handle right below the chest. Wrists stay nice and flat. The body stays leaned back. And remember, as we row, the harder we row, the more resistance we feel. So we don't wanna just be you know, sticking our arms out and pulling them in willy-nilly. We wanna give a good definitive pull. As if you were moving your hand through a bathtub or a pool. You know, the faster you move your hand through the water, the more resistance you feel. It's the same with rowing. It's a key aspect of rowing. So right here, right now, give a good pull. Slow return, pull, slow return. Nice, brace those abs tightly. Are your shoulders leaned back behind the hips? This is what we want. Shoulders relax as the arms come out. Shoulders relaxed. We're gonna now go to arms and core with me now, so we're gonna go arms out, lean the body, body, arms, arms, use your core to come forward, core arms. So as we do this, we're working on the body swing of 11 to one o'clock. Lean forward to that one o'clock, lean back to that 11. We're not reaching as far as possible, we're just getting our shoulders past our hip line, using our core to swing us back. Again, pulling that handle right below the chest. Elbows out slightly to keep the wrist flat. We don't wanna bend in and you know, get all loosey-goosey with the handle. We want a connected grip. We're not death gripping. The handle is sitting at the base of your fingers. Abs tight, feeling that hamstring stretch as you lean forward. Arms out and down. And now we're gonna lengthen to full strokes on this next one. Full strokes, arms, core, bend the legs. Push, swing, pull. Arms, core, bend the legs. I'm gonna settle us into a 16 strokes per minute here for our first minute. So we're trying to now throw the entire sequence together. Arms, core, legs. Legs, core, arms. Arms, core, legs. Arms push out and down, lean, bend the legs. Arms push out and down, lean, bend the legs. Check your shoulders, are they relaxed? Are you carrying the handle high like this? You don't want that. Arms out and down, over the knees, then bend the knees. This, thing, this takes practice, guys. We're gonna take it up to an 18 strokes per minute now, 18. So just a little bit faster on our return, giving a good 
moderate leg drive here. We should be breathing quite a bit now, so we're feeling warm at least. So as far as the effort goes, we're thinking like 65 to 75% of max effort. And really being cautious here of your sequencing, but trying to make that sequencing smooth. How smooth can you make your legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs? How relaxed can you keep your shoulders on that return? Wash my handle here, relax. Nice, loading those legs. Not going up as far as possible, but max compression is the knees over ankles. We're going up to a 20 strokes per minute now, up to a 20. Let's add a little more pressure as well. So now we're 70 to 80% of max effort. Again, that's, that means your split or your watts or your speed, it's different for all of us based on age, fitness level, height. All of these things play a factor. So I'm not gonna tell you what your split or your watts should be. That's like telling someone on a treadmill how fast they should be running. It doesn't work that way. You need to find the intensity level based off of a percentage of maximum effort. So 70 to 80% of your maximum effort. All right, guys, we're getting ready to add in a pause at the arms and core position. So with me here, arms out, lean, pause, pause. Now go, bend the legs, push, swing, pull. We're gonna pause again, arms, core, pause. Go, oh, push, swing, pull. Arms, core, pause, go. We're gonna do this for a minute. And go. Nice, so really emphasizing our arms and lean, pause, go. The only thing that goes on the go is the legs. And go. Push, swing, pull. Arms, lean, pause, go. If that's really straining your hamstrings, pause. Someone needs to stretch more, oh, go. Pause. Go. One more pause. Pause here and go. Let's go continuous now. Continuous strokes at 20 strokes a minute. We're back to our 20, back to our 70 to 80% max effort. Now, how does this feel for you? Does this make the stroke feel a little bit more fluid, a little bit more natural? I sure hope so. Focus on blending your stroke sequence here. Deep, steady breaths at whatever breathing pattern works for you here. For some, that might be one big breath per stroke. For others, that might be two. A good sustainable rhythm. We're gonna get ready to do those pauses again, so be ready for it. On this next one, we're gonna pause at arms and core. Pause, hold, go. Bend the legs. Push, swing, pull, arms, lean, pause. Just bend the legs, go. Just legs. Push, swing, pull. Arms, lean, pause. Do you feel it? Go. Pause, go. Pause. You wanna add more pressure to the stroke? Do it, go. Push it then, push. Woo. Then pause, ah. Go. Pause, are your arms straight as you start the drive back? Go, straight arms, straight arms, then pull them in. Pause. Hold it, go. We're gonna go continuous now on this one. Let's go ahead and take it continuous. Back at our 20 strokes per minute.
We've got one more round of the pause to work through. Right now, we're working on translating that here into our continuous strokes. Hopefully right now, the stroke is feeling a little bit more natural than it was at the start of the workout. Hopefully you're feeling good. You're sweating and breathing. If you're not working, if you don't feel like you're working hard, push harder. Push your legs, push. Control, push, control, right? It's that balance of driving back hard, coming up controlled to keep our stroke rate. We'll get ready on this next one. We'll pause arms and core again. Here we go. Let's pause. Arms and core. Go. Pause. Go. Pause. Go. There we go. So we're picking it up a little bit. Pause. Feel the stretch. There it is. Go. Just legs. Push, swing, pull. Pause. Don't rush out to the pause, go. Don't rush out to it, make it fluid, make it fluid. Pause, go. Pause, go. Good, arms out, lean, pause, go. Hands lifted at the front. Pause, the arms are low here, but as we go up, go. Lift the hands into the catch. Pause, go. Continuous, at a 20, here we go, 20. Okay, technique work is over. That's right, we're gonna get into our intervals next and now really translate this technique that we've practiced into rowing, minute on, minute off, but during the minute on, the first 30 seconds is at stroke rate 25, and then the last 30 seconds is at stroke rate 30. So we build during the on, and then during the off, we go nice, light, and easy for the minute. And we're doing five rounds of that. And that's gonna be it for the workout. So let's buckle down, guys. Let's translate that good technique that we've just built and make it happen here. We've got 10 seconds, oh joy. So first 30 seconds at 25 rate, max pressure, then 30 strokes a minute. Max pressure, here we go. 25 strokes a minute on this one, here we go. 25, let's add some pressure. You're just coming up a little faster, a little bit harder on your drive back. Here we go. Nice, charging in. Looking at your numbers here, looking at your pace. Let's go 30 strokes a minute. Here we go, on this one, 30. Push, max effort, all out, let's go. Stay at the 30 with me. Stay at the 30 with me. Nice, last 10, let's dig a little more. Last 10, dig, dig, push. Good, dig, push. Good, time, light, light strokes. Nice job. Okay. Ooh, so on the light strokes, we still keep our composure. No pressure, still with good form. Can you still go? Legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. No flailing about. Just relax your face, relax your face. And let's make the second interval better. We had that first one to test the waters. So now, working on a little bit more consistent 25 rate at a solid split time or watts, whatever you're looking at, that's intense for you. And then be ready to shift gears and bring it up for the 30 strokes a minute. And really go for it, earn your rest breaks. You're sitting down watching this because you're here to work. So let's get ready to work together, five seconds. Three, two, one, we're at 25. 25 rate, at a good hard push. 90% plus max effort. Good. 
I'm gonna push and swing. Let's not forget our drills. Let's not forget the work we put in. Up to a 30 on this one. Here we go. Drive, swing. Race up, drive, swing. Get up, push. Heavy, hard strokes. Race up, heavy, hard strokes. You got 20 seconds. Shorten your leg compression if you need to. Time, light. Woo, that's round two. Ah, sweaty. Breathe easy. All right. How was round two for you? How was going from the 25 to the 30? Now for a lot of us, it might be hard to keep that rate with good form if, um, especially if you're taller, or maybe not as tall, but it's not as experienced, what you do is you shorten your leg compression. We don't start rowing vertical with our body. We have to keep our lean and our swing. Just don't bend your legs as much though if you need to keep that higher rate and you're struggling to. Okay, so that's your focus here if that was a struggle point for you. Let's get ready. Ready to make it happen for round three. We'll start off at 25. Three, two, one, 25 rate, let's go. Good hard push. Good, find a breathing pattern that works for you here. Stay steady with your pace, with your split, with your watts. And now if we go to a 30 on this one, here we go, 30 rate, 30 rate. Push it, come up, push it, come up. Shorten the legs if you need to. Stay leaning, stay swinging. Get in, get back, get in, get back. Get forward, get back, stay on it. Time. Rest easy, light rowing, light rowing. Composure, where's your composure? All right. Two intervals left before we wrap it up and we're done. You know what that means. It's time to start digging. It's time to get serious. It's time to realize that if we wanna get better, we gotta go there. With control, of course, don't just start flailing around. Rowing is a balance of being technical, but going hard, all right? You got it in you. Just remember our drills. You've had these last three intervals to play around with the splits, with the watts, to find what works for you. Now let's dial it in and really find it here. Five seconds, three, Two, one, 25. Here we go, 25. Good, so we're working on strength here at the start. Strength, control, strength, control. Trying to bend those legs all the way. Lean that body, swing that body. Get in, push, swing. Get in, push, swing. 30 on this one. Here we go, up to a 30. Let's go. Stay leaning. Push, swing. Get up, push, swing. Get up, push, swing. Good, last 10, stay on it. Give a little extra if you got it. Give a little extra if you got it. Time, light, light rowing. All right. Team, well done so far. Finish line is right around the corner now. It's in these moments where a lot of people 
Just kind of get through it. Not us. No, no. Let's not just get through this. Let's own this. Don't be victimized by your rower. Be on top of the rower. Be in command of the rower and show it and yourself what you've got here for this last interval. One more strict 25 to 30 rate, given max effort, guys. This is it. I know you got your best for last. I know you do. So we'll make it happen together. Here we go. Three, two, one, 25. Here we go. Strict. Hard push control. Hard push control, full strokes. Work on that compression, work on that lean. Swing with pressure, push, swing. Lean, swing, lean, swing. You need to dominate this last bit, guys. With control, but with some passion here. 30, on this one, 30, get up. Push, swing, get up. Push, swing, get up. Push, swing. Nice, last 15. Power 10, one, two, three, four, come on, five, push it. Six, four more, seven, last one, time. Light rowing, light, easy. And there we have it, team. Taking it light, taking it easy here for the next one to five minutes if you can. Try to keep your good form here, stay with that. Swing back, just light pressure here to help the body return to homeostasis. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Hope you had a good time working those intervals, a good time working on your technique. Rowing continues to be both a physically and mentally challenging sport and exercise. But I know you gave it your best and you should be proud of yourself. You wanna get good at anything? Keep doing the thing. Keep practicing, don't beat yourself up too much. Stay consistent, you'll get to where you wanna be.